Uh, next here on Sunrise, we're going to talk about a new film coming to your screens very soon. Liberté, a call to spy, is based on true stories of inspiring women who were recruited by Winston Churchill during the Second World War to spy in his secret army. With well, a producer, writing and one a writer and one of the leading ladies in this film, Sarah Megan Thomas, joins us in the studio. Uh, but before we have a chat with her, uh, let's have a look at a clip of the film. Puis j'emprunte votre journal. J'ai laissé le mien dans le bus. Vous avez commandé un gin? Uh, no alcohol is allowed today, Madame. You ordered a gin. I apologize. I I've just arrived. I don't know. The... Uh, well, Sarah, um, this looks like a fascinating film. It's exploring ordinary women doing extraordinary things as part of the Special Operations Executive, and this was founded by Winston Churchill. This was really his army, wasn't it? It was his army, and actually, it, the film starts in 1941 when we're losing the war, and they put women in as an experiment because they thought they would be more inconspicuous and could possibly get some more information than the men. Uh, just in terms of the women, obviously, you have an American accent. This was an American woman working for um, uh, the British at the time. Yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit more about, about her story. Virginia Hall. I mean, you saw in that clip there the situations into which she had to insert herself. She was living on a knife edge pretty much for the duration of, of her time in the war. Yeah, so Virginia Hall was the first female field agent they sent in, and they sent her in because she was American. America wasn't in the war, so she had this cover as a New York Post reporter. Um, and she was actually a woman with a disability. She had a wooden leg. She shot her leg off while hunting. And she had this remarkable ability to organize. So over the course of the war, she became the spy that the Nazis literally dubbed the most dangerous of all. And after the war, the first woman to work for the CIA. It's interesting, isn't it? Because it, there were 39 women in total yeah. that were part of this. And they ranged from girls barely out of school to more mature women, all of whom spoke French. And they were the only women permitted a combat role during World War II. What did some of their missions and assignments involve? You know, it was everything. They were sent in to do kind of individual acts of what's called sabotage and subversion. So it was everything from getting the locals to resist and encouraging the locals that there was help out there to providing information back to London, for example, the, the little clip you just saw, Virginia Hall, you know, she ordered a gin in a restaurant and they changed the rules and gin was illegal on Sundays. So the spies would get caught because of these little rules. And so it was their job to send information back to London so mistakes weren't made. But they blew up things too. And they were treated exactly as if they were a male spy. Adette Sansom, Adette Churchill, the Brit other British spy, I mean, she was tortured within an inch of her life. Yeah, they were, they were treated the same. They were told they had a 50-50 chance of survival and they had the exact same training as the men. Yeah. And in terms of the Special Operations Executive, obviously that ended when Winston, Winston Churchill, you know, w wasn't in power anymore. What happened to these, these women? Yeah, you know, unfortunately, many of them were kind of relegated back to um, before the war. They were, there wasn't an immediate need mm. for them. So, so that was a little bit of a disappointment. You know, Virginia Hall was lucky. She did get to work for the CIA, but it wasn't right away. She actually applied to be a diplomat after the war, and the American government said no, they, they didn't have enough money to pay her. So. Uh, it's a fascinating yeah. um, tale, uh, well, fascinating tales, as I said, so, so many women involved. Um, when can people see the film, Sarah? Yeah, so we just premiered an international competition at Edinburgh. We'll be out later this year. And um, if I told you, I'd have to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. This really is really method acting. <laughs> but uh, all updates are on our Twitter page, at Liberté the movie. And, um, yeah, check it out. OK, Sarah Megan Thomas, really interested to see that film. Thank you very much Thank for you. coming to talk to us about it here on Sunrise this morning. Uh, we are done here for Sunrise. That's it. Us done for the week. But before we go, that all-important weather forecast, because things are hotting up.